Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, my voice sounds horrible. Ugh. But good morning guys. It's 5 a.m. Hence I sound like this. So remember I promised you guys a vlog that I'll take you with me when I'm going to Zim. My registration. It's happening. It's also in conjunction with a lot of things, so I'm just gonna do a travel vlog. Yes, so today is the 3rd of March, yes, 2022, and we're headed to Zim. My aunt arrived from London last night? No, in the morning, yesterday. So it's been a lot. So I'm taking it along with me, and we'll see how this goes. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday the 4th. We're in Harare. We've just been running a few errands this morning. I couldn't really show that on camera. So yeah. We arrived very late last night because child, it was a trip. I think I'll explain when I'm a bit more settled. But yeah, we arrived very late because we were delayed when we got to France Town for like about two and a half, three hours. So our trip, our trip took longer than it was supposed to. But we arrived in one piece we're just very tired so now we're gonna head head wow english <laughs> gonna head to sam levy's village to sort out some cards for my dad and my aunt and i to get some daytime daytime and stuff so we can be incommunicado no in communication i'm tired as you can see like yeah it's lunchtime right now so we woke up very late we had a lion and we're sorting out stuff for the memorial tomorrow so at least that stuff is done now time to have some lunch and yeah catch you guys in a bit hi guys hey. so we are trekking in the bush <laughs> we've gone to my mom's homestead it's called Wedza all my same people you know this we're in Mashonaland and east so we had to park the car because bush. <laughs> so I, come along with us oh my gosh Where's the bridge? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't know. They said there was a bridge. Is another route to the bridge? I don't know.
morning everyone and welcome back to my channel so today is monday the 7th of march yes it's been an eventful weekend i last picked up my camera yesterday i even forgot to do the intro that's how bad the weekend was like it was just so busy but here we are so today we have to do the passport office because my sister and my mom need a passport i might need a passport fun times yeah so yeah hope you guys have had a good weekend mine was rather emotional because we had uncle's memorial on saturday and yesterday we went to my mom's village to see my grandfather's grave i haven't seen it in about five years now so we went to put flowers and stuff and to see my great grandmother who my mom was named after so yeah that was nice it was more nostalgic that was more calming than the saturday one because that was kind of all sorts of triggering but <laughs> we'll talk about that another day hope you guys have had a good weekend and you're thriving let's go smash monday and i'll take you guys along with me as we go to the passport office in harare catch you guys in a bit Hi guys and welcome back. So today is Tuesday. It's afternoon. I didn't really vlog much yesterday. I'll show you small clips because we went to the passport office and we were there forever. So when I got home I was just tired and I was over the day. I was also very frustrated because I couldn't get a hold of my lawyer to like finalize what's going on with my registration. And you know when you have that inkling, that little feeling that's telling you something wrong and you can't put your finger on it? Yeah, I woke up this morning and found out the papers hadn't been filed. So I'm not getting registered tomorrow, like I thought. And I was so upset, guys. Like, I've been waiting for this moment for like five years. And it seems to be getting further and further away from me. The closer I get to it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I was really frustrated and like really angry. Like, I literally got into my like I got back into my bed and I cried for like 20 to 30 minutes because I was just so upset. And I was like, God why? Like I traveled all this way thinking this was gonna happen and now it's not gonna happen. I was even willing to wait an extra week by myself to wait and he was like, yeah I know even that it's gonna be tricky. They might not have spaces. I'm checking but my wife. And it was rough shit. And I felt so stupid because I was like I trust you, you've done so many things for me before, legally wise. You're handling a lot of stuff for me, for my friends. You've never failed me. So I was so chilled. Like, I wasn't bugging you, I wasn't doing this. I checked with you on Friday and you had said everything was okay. Now, here we are. Like, quarter two and things have just gone left. And it feels like this trip, like, it, that's what's been happening. Like, you plug one hole and like five other holes appear. Like, when we left Gabs, we had the car rubber issue, then we got to France Town with the tire issue. Our tire literally just ripped apart from nowhere. I kept seeing the positive because I was like, it's good we saw it now because then we never car accident. Then we got to Zim and it's like there was just so much drama. And then the car window also started acting up when we got here and it's like raining cats and dogs. So we just literally had to go to 
to see Moco, which is like the Mercedes for yeah, to get them to like just close the window and not touching it until we get to Bots. And like so many different things were going wrong at like the memorial, there was just drama sometimes here and there, and you're just like, ah, guys, nah, it. And like literally me and my mom used to be like, if it wasn't for the fact that we have this registration tomorrow, we would be going, we would be like, let's go back home now, this is too much. And like now I felt guilty because I was like, did I tell the universe that I don't want to register tomorrow? Like, let's just cancel it. Because now just everything is going wrong. And now I have to make a whole trip back again to Zim. That's gonna cost me, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do it now. Probably April. Because for now, I need to recover. I also had to get a new passport. I was not expected to pay for a new passport. And I had to get a new passport because my passport got liquid damage. Like, so many random things, guys. Like, it just didn't make sense. So, yeah. Then my aunt is like, ah, oh, no, let's just go for lunch. And, you know, just send out because, dude, you're not happy. And I just wanted you to be happy. Like, my aunt's back in Zim for the first time in 20 years. So, guys, I was just so finished. Like, and I had planned so many things. I had planned a photo shoot after my registration with my parents and stuff. And my aunt's gonna be there. And she was there for my first graduation. So, it was gonna be like a full circle. That's gone, so I, yeah, it's rough. So I don't know. When I get back home, I found out whether we're leaving on Thursday or we're still gonna keep to Saturday. So find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys are having a better week than I am because this trip just didn't turn out how I expected it to turn out. But hey, universe and all, right? I just need to keep reminding myself there's a reason for this, there's a reason for it. I can't see it right now, and boy do I need to see it, because the frustration is real. But, we move. I enjoyed lunch at least. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. to leave on Saturday but yeah I think this trip kind of discombobulated us all and we're like yeah since there's no registration we're out yeah it's um, as you can see I'm like the most happiest person because I think a lot of things I was supposed to be just didn't do so it's a bit of an anti-climax so yeah we'll see I'm supposed to do Joburg this weekend so see how that goes oh my car sorry i just was on my dad and car like mine <laughs> so yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit i'll show you guys clips we're in blue away right now i think we're just gonna go to the supermarket to get a few things and then head out we left quite early because it's like quarter to ten right now oh so yeah So today's Friday. I didn't vlog when we got home last night because I was bone dead tired. Like I heard that phrase before, but yesterday I felt it. So the trip was going well yesterday until we got to Palape because apparently the universe decided, no, 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 no. Let me just give you another one, you know, just before you get home so you can fully appreciate that you got home safe. We had like a burst slash ripped tire again. We had it on our way to Zim. This time it was the right rear. First it was the left rear. This time it was the right rear tire. Like I, I was so happy that 
we insisted on getting a spare tire like it was a brand new tire so we had one to install in because otherwise it would have been another disaster because trying to find a new tire with the rim would have been a mess but yeah so that happened so i was just so it delayed us probably by like another 45 minutes luckily we found a dunlop tires that was empty so when we got there they just served us immediately and we got back on the road but it delayed us by like yeah 45 minutes to an hour so we did still get home day late because we got home at like half six quarter to seven so it was good but yo i was tired guys because we woke up okay yeah we woke up at like 4 a.m because we left at five <sighs> yeah but this trip was like the first trip where anything and everything that could go wrong went wrong well there were like a few positives like we saw family again and it was my aunt's first time home in 20 years all of that was great but it was all overshadowed by all of this negativity that was just happening it was like we'll fix one thing and the next thing would happen like the car just started misbehaving like suddenly the window wouldn't work suddenly this needs to get to fix suddenly i need a new passport suddenly oh my god and it was just expense upon expense ha huh? so like in hindsight i think like the universe decided me having my registration this week would have been bad because then i wouldn't have enjoyed it the way i deserved to enjoy it so even when that because like when that didn't happen guys i was in my bed for like an hour just crying because i just felt like jesus why i've worked so hard for us to finally get to this point and you know just when i think i'm like yes the hurdle we're about to jump over then the hurdle's like psych moves like 10 meters forward i was like really what is the meaning of this like uh, but you know what we'll attempt again so it will likely be either end of april or like beginning of may so i will definitely give you that vlog when that happens but for now attempt number one was not a success but if at first you don't succeed try try again right so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this vlog it's so choppy and all over the place and i apologize for that because it really shows just how up and down and emotional this trip was <laughs> so yeah hopefully you guys can appreciate what was happening and you enjoyed the vlog nonetheless like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one hopefully it's a happier one <laughs> bye